Harold and Liz and the crew are always looking for something special for their customers. Drop into Drop Zone Pizzeria's two locations in downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiance Street in downtown Stryker. Closed on Mondays, but open Tuesday through Thursday and Sunday from 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Place your order by calling Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or Stryker at 419-990-2525. Don't forget to visit them on Facebook at The Drop Zone Pizzeria, where online ordering is available at toasttab.com. The Drop Zone Pizzeria, as always, says let's go Rams. All right, we are back with game number two. Uh, Lady Rams will take the field, and up to bat, we will have number three, Britt Burns, to the plate for uh, for Lady Panthers. And similar to last week, Kaylee, they give us no time to do <laughs> any pregame <laughs> preparation whatsoever. <laughs> We have to order these girls pizza or burgers or something next doubleheader just to just to slow them down a bit, right? We had some uh, field changes for the Lady Rams. Uh, pitching for the Lady Rams will be Zoe Billings catching Madison Spangler. Uh, looking down third base, we have Gamby Norton on shortstop. But ball will be hit to Norton. She will scoop it up, make the play over to first base, which is now Skyly Zolman, and that will be out number one. Right on cue, right at T. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it as they get the ball here. <laughs> We still have Trinity um, Corber on second base. And then let's see our outfield. We have Smith Myers and Garrett, Chelsea Garrett and Wright. Bring to the plate for the Lady Panthers will be Madison Louth. She will be batting from the left side. First pitch coming in will be a ball low outside. Looking at a 1 0 count, they will have one out and no runners on base for the Panthers. Pitch coming in will be heading into Norton. She'll scoop it up and make that throw again to Zolman for out number two. Great defensive heart start for Tegan. Yeah. And fantastic defense for Lee Rams in game one. I just need to keep, keep it up. <laughs> 11 1 in game one for Tenora. We bring Megan Hinkle to the plate for Panthers. First ball will be swung on and fouled off right back behind her. I haven't even shared our link for game two yet, Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach Fairchild. Pitch two coming in will be a little high outside. <laughs> It's coming in from Billings. will be swung on hit to Gamby. Scoop it up and make the throw to first for out number three of the inning. All right, three up, three down for the Lady Rams. We will be, Lady Panthers will be taking the field, and we will see Meyer, Smith, and Norton up to bat for the Lady Rams and going into the bottom of the second. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. And we are back going into the bottom of the first inning, and we have a little bit of a change. I guess I'm not fully sure how much of a change, but we do have a change in fielding for, uh, for the Panthers. Uh, looks like pitching for uh, Parkway will be Britt Burns catching Mia Suzu Suzuki. Uh, third base will be Hinkle. Sixth is make sure I get these names right here. Temple. Second is Miller, and then first base is Stevenson. Uh, their outfield you have White, Louth, and Miller. Good job with those names, Kaylee. Yep. <laughs> sometimes they couple, make it easier on me. Sometimes couple they don't. whole stumblers here for. 
Actually, wait, no, I think Miller is. That oh, might be on. Miller's at second. I don't know who's, who's in their right. I don't have a right fielder for them. I didn't bring my binoculars. Ooh, Ooh. hard drive from Christina Myers back to the pitcher will be caught. Or out number one on the Lady Rams. Neither team has an active game changer live. Must be scoring during the game, but not keeping it live. So yeah. we can't actually steal that from game yeah, so, changer. I mean, they have someone in the right field. I just don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. And my eyesight is horrible. So up to the plate for Lady Rams will be <laughs> Tanae Smith. First pitch will be a high inside ball. Well, her first number starts with a one. <laughs> After that, right. I can't see it. Okay, so we have Audrey Nichols. Today with a two-run home run in game number one. It's coming in. We'll be tall inside. Oh, no, he's going to call it. A little bit delayed there. We'll be looking at a one-two strike. One-two count. I'll be a little high out there. We have an umpire switch, so their lady's going to kind of pay attention to them. I mean, the zones change between umpires, and they're going to adjust a little bit to that. First varsity start this year for Bruns. So it'll be swung on and missed for out number two. That will bring Tegan Norton to the plate for the Lady Rams. Tegan playing shortstop. She's doing an amazing job on shortstop today. I mean, not I don't think really anything's gotten past her. No. She's had a couple bobbles, no. but, I mean, nothing that has done, I mean, any damage or anything. No, she's played great this season. First pitch coming into Norton will be swung on and missed. I will be hit and just right over shortstop, right under the grass. It'll be a nice single base there for Norton. We'll bring to the plate Gamby for the Lady Rams. We're looking at two outs and Norton on first. First pitch coming in again. It'll be swung on and popped up. And second baseman will go out and make that catch for out number three. Going into the top of the second inning, 0-0, zero, zero. Lady Rams and Panthers will be back with Panthers taken to the plate. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive at Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at FairchildFamilyChiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla. Proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters say go Rams. <laughs> we, um, we're back. <laughs> well, we almost lost our starting pitcher. I <laughs> <laughs> had a little bit, of a, little bit of a crazy throw there and almost a good thing. Zoe was paying attention for that throw. She was just able to dodge that. Would have had her pretty good in the back there. Let's see, we will have Paige Stevenson up to the plate for the Lady Panthers. sure I write all this down in the right inning. Nice pitch there from Billings. First pitch will be a strike. And the wind has not let up from the start of game nope. one to start of game two. It's just as strong as what it was in the beginning. Still from left to right. I'll be a second pitch coming will be a ball low. 59 degrees in game two. It was 55 in game one on your David Frank weather. Oh, we popped up and just kind of hit between first and second. Now we're going to like reposition who's out in what field position here. Garrett will scoop it up and throw it in and secure runner on first for the Panthers. Bring to the plate Audrey Miller for the Panthers. First pitch coming in from Billings, just right up the middle. Nice, perfect pitch. 
Miller with a single in game one. And 11 1 Rams win. Kevin for Billings will be swung on hit. Zolman will, oh, she kind of bobbles it when she has to scoop it up. She will snag it, and they, Miller will be safe at first, and that'll advance Stevenson to second. Looks like Tony might call a timeout and go and talk to the girls on the mound there. It's almost a similar start last week, or this week, as to last week when Lady Rams hosted Wasion in the second game, where Lady Rams got off to a rough start in game two. I actually think they trailed 3 nothing in the second inning. Yeah, and I don't know, like, if it's just, like, changing the positions, like, you got to kind of adjust a little bit, I mean, or just nerves or what exactly yep. it is, but just give them a little talk and yeah, he's they'll really, adjust. Yeah, he's so now. Yep. <laughs> Well, Zoe did a great job last week, a couple times getting out of jams. Yep. We'll see um, Emery Temple to the plate for the Panthers, and we still we have a batter, a runner on second and first. No outs. She will square to bunt, but Zoe will scoop it up, make a throw to third, but not in time. She'll be safe. We will have bases loaded. That's one of those do or die plays. When you get it, you got to make a decision. She decided to go to third, where if she. Would have thrown it the first, you would have got the sure out, but you try and get the lead runner in that distance. Just a great jump down there at second. Now bring it Kelly Bollenbacher to the plate for the Panthers. First pitch coming up, be nice. I mean, nice pitch right up the middle from Zoe. Good strike. She singled in the first game. Two coming over, ball low. Spangle, Spang, Spangler, if I can talk. Good job of keeping that in front of her, not letting that get by her, especially right now with bases loaded. Looking at a 1 1 count, no out still. Ball will be thrown down to down to Gamby in an attempt to pour force out, but it will kind of be a low, low throw. We'll get past Gamby. Out to Norton. Norton will throw it in, and Panthers will score on the air. It's one of those you, again, one of those do or die. You throw it down to third base and trying to get the lead runner, and yep. either you do or you don't. Yeah. And the lead Rams didn't. Like that, like you, you have to make sure you're making good. I mean, good throws and catches on those. I will be fouled off from Bowenbacher. Looking at a two-two count. No outs. We have a runner on third and second now. Billings waiting for her for a pitch there. Ball will be fouled off. Right field side. Lady Rams next game is Monday at Hilltop, I believe. Back here Tuesday versus Edgerton back in the conference play. We're just talking. They got a Pretty full schedule next week. Yes, they do. Like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Just coming in will be a ball, making a full count, 3-2. Ball will be hit. We'll just be popped up over Norton's head. She won't quite be able to make that. Smith will come in and Field that ball. One runner will advance into home. We'll be looking at a runner on third and second, or third and first. That will bring Aubrey Nichols up to the plate for the Panthers. Ball will be hit and will stay fair. Gamby will look her back at three. Throw to first, and then Skyly's going to make that throw it back to third. And they will pretty much stay still. They're not going to try to. Parkway just hitting them where they're not, right? Yeah. here <laughs> the city. <laughs> Couldn't have rolled that ball out there any better. Looking at bases loaded again. That will bring Avery White to the plate for the Panthers. Still no outs on the Panthers. Ball count. First pitch coming in will be a ball high. 
quite over two in the first game. Actually, one for three. My apologies. Oh, the hit up popped up and looks like Skyly will make the catch for out number one. I think she almost kind of went a little too far back on that. <laughs> she yeah, the wind, won, like... <laughs> yeah, the wind playing havoc here in game one and game two, as we said, the wind has not lit up one bit. Still looking at bases loaded for the Panthers, and we will bring Mia Suzuki to the plate. First pitch coming in from Billings will be hit right out to Norton, and it'll get past her, not Norton, Smith, out to the fence. will be thrown into Norton. Looks like two runs will make it in for the Panthers. Panthers came in, averaging 12 <laughs> runs a game. Skyly limited to just one in the first game, and... Zoe not having the best of luck here in the second. Oh, that'll bring us back up to the top of the lineup. Britt Burns, first pitch will be hit out to Smith. Kind of bob a little bit. We'll throw into Gamby, and she'll be safe at third. Madison Spangler asked for time. She's going to go out there and talk to Zoe. Freshman with freshman. Ramsey's a freshman pitcher and freshman catcher. Here in game two. We'll be looking at Madison Louth up to the plate for the Panthers. Looking at a runner on third and first with one out. It's coming. It'll be a ball outside. Madison went to throw it out in a second to get know. the runner. And I think Zoe thought that the Throw was coming back to her, and, I don't and she fully snagged know it. Know if it was supposed to be a throwdown because there wasn't really anybody like, right. covering. So, <laughs> I mean, kind of a good call on Zoe, like stopping it because I don't know where that would have went. <laughs> Alpha will pop that up at the center field. Myers will scoop it up and throw it in. Alpha will advance to second. Throw came into the infield, got away from the Rams infield, allowing the runner to advance from first or second. She was not going to go. Then the ball came in, tipped off the Lady Rams gloves and allowed the runner to go from first to second. This pitch coming in for Billings will be popped up and will be will hit in fair territory. Probably fair out in the right field. Thrown into Corber. Make the throw to Billings, but I mean throw to Spangler, but she will be safe at home. Barely. I think she just had her hand just on the corner of the just plate. Just on the corner, yeah. She yes. dove a little, a little too soon there. That ball hit just inside the right field line for a triple. And nothing going right for the Lady Rams here in the second. So They have I mean, they're back batted there. around here <laughs> yeah. in the second. To... Trying to figure out my score sheet here. How to... <laughs> Runners everywhere this inning for Parkway. Up to the plate is Miller. She will pop it up, and it will be out for a home run. That will bring in Stevenson as well, who's on third. Coach Fairchild asked for time, and that's going to be it for Zoe Billings. Like they will put Zolman back on the mound. I don't think Skyler's going to take too many warm up pitches, so we'll just keep it right here. It's 10 nothing as Parkway 
Still batting here in the second, and they have just one out. So Zoe, not quite the productive outing that she had last week versus Wasion. Then again, Parkway hit the ball hard. I was gonna say, I mean, I mean, <laughs> they're hitting it. They're hitting it. I mean, only so much. I mean, even trying to move pitches around, if they're still hitting them, I mean, only so much you can kind of do. I yep. Mean, Okay, we'll take just a couple pitches and be back with, I believe, we should be have Emory Temple up to the plate for the Panthers. So they're going to one out, no runners on base. First pitch coming in will be a ball outside. Well, the bright side is this is the second inning. And if you're Coach Fairchild, you still have, well, hopefully six more at-bats. And then you also have Skyly back on the mound who allowed just one run in the first game. So Coach Fairchild should have six innings to try and chip back at this 10 nothing deficit. Got a 3-0 count on Temple. Pitch coming from Zolman will be ball low inside. That will put Temple down on first. We will have Callie Bullenbacher up to the plate. I don't think Skyly walked anybody in the first game. Uh, I think she walked one. Oh, that's right. Yep, one right here. Yep, one in this fifth inning. Stevenson drew a walk. First pitch coming in, there'll be a strike, right? A nice on the inside corner. Um, we'll get past Spangler. And Temple will advance to second. Looking at a 1 1 count on Bullenbacher. Nice inside pitch from Skyler. We're looking at a 1 2 count, one out, and runner on second. Coming in right the outside corner, we swung at and fouled back at us. That one was all you, Keith. That was like right. Tried to grab it. <laughs> Trying to shade our <laughs> Wi Fi thing here so it doesn't overheat. It's right in the direct sun now. Strike three will be swung on and missed. And for out number two. I'll bring to the plate Aubrey Nichols. Okay, we'll step on the mound, and her first pitch will be a nice right up the middle. Gorgeous strike there. Pitch two coming in from Zolman. Oh, view. The ball high. I maybe want to question that swing a little <laughs> bit, but. It's coming to be a ball low. We'll bounce off a of Spangler. We'll get past her. Runner will advance to third. Looking at a 2 1 count on Nichols. Oh, be hit to Billing. She will bobble a little bit, but she will scoop it up and get out number three. Mm -hmm. I will um, make a rough. There's a, there's a lot of action um, in that inning. Rough second <laughs> inning. Um, looking at the Panthers 10, Lady Rams 0 going into the, I guess we're in the bottom of the second. I don't really know where I'm at anymore. Bottom we're of the second. <laughs> we'll be back with Lady Rams up to the plate. Hey, you. Are you looking for the best burger around? For the last two years, Firestone Tavern has brought home the award for best burger in the region. Firestone Tavern is also the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, 
and so, so much more. Chef Aaron and his fantastic staff are here to serve nothing but the best to their customers. Be sure to stop out after the game for ice cold drinks and all the games on TV that you can ask for. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., and from Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Looking to place an order? Give them a call at 419-785-4015 or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the very best to the Tenora Rams. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. We are back with the late Rams taken to the plate. We are looking at Skyly Zolman stepping into the batter's box for the Rams. First pitch will be swung on kind of inside. Will bounce off the third base, and Skyly will be safe at first. Third baseman kind of tried to attempt a dive to catch it, but it kind of bounced off her glove, and pitcher kind of went back to help try to scoop it up. But Skyly was on first base or on first base. She was on base all four plate appearances in the first game, and she starts out the second game reaching base as well. <laughs> Bring Madison Spangler to the plate. That one kind of bounced off the catcher's face. Skyly and Madison back-to-back homers in the third inning in the Rams 11-1 game one win. And an 0-1 count on Spangler. Second pitch coming in will be swung on and missed. Strike three, swung on and missed. We'll bring. What? I, mean, <laughs> I was like, I mean, it was the wrong minute. one, Kaylee. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was like, well, I couldn't hear myself. <laughs> That's anymore. what I thought I too. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> like Kaylee's talking about us, and I tried to mute myself, but I just muted Kaylee. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even know who's the light. <laughs> Zoe Billings to the plate for Lady Rams. First pitch will be held off right back at me. My three o'clock morning is catching up to me, so I wanted to get a yawn in there. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, Zoe. Second pitch coming out will be a ball high. I thought maybe I was saying something you didn't want me to say. Apparently, I wasn't allowed to talk about Zoe coming up to the plate. <laughs> so a three minute delay, <laughs> or three second delay. No, it's usually like my 20 minute power nap recharge time Monday through Friday. So my body's telling me it's nap time. <laughs> Got a 2 1 count on Billings. One out on the Lady Rams. No, oh, no, we can't. Yeah, Madison is out. Okay. I thought, I thought Zoe was the second batter. I was like, how do we have one out? <laughs> and a 2 2 count. Ball will be hit and popped up. Looks like maybe third base will make that catch for out number two. Zolman will remain standing on first. That will bring Trinity Corber to the plate. Go, Trinity. Ball will be hit and fouled back. I got an 0-1 count on Corber. Two outs for the Lady Rams. Zolman standing on first. Pitch coming in will be popped up back to the pitcher for out number three. We no runs for the Lady Rams. One runner left on base. And we'll be back with the Panthers taken to the plate. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events, broadcast on YouTube, and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Local farmers, do you need the best crop insurance in the area? If so, Hall Crop Insurance is here to help. Contact Agent Chad Hall at 419-576-6140 for all of your crop insurance needs. Underwriter Nikki Geisinger is also available to assist at 866-341-2767. 
The staff at Hall Crop Insurance takes pride in their ability to serve their customers. If you need to talk to an agent or have questions about your policy, please give Chatternicki a call. Hall Crop Insurance wishes the best to all Tenora teams this season. All right, we are back going into top of the third. Well, it's in the air today because the Tenora boys playing down in St. Henry were up 8-3 to three going into the sixth. And Bell Fountain has scored nine runs in the sixth and now lead 12-8. to eight. So runs are on the board and plenty for Tenora opponents here today. We have Avery, let's see, White up to the plate for Panthers here. Make sure I'm in the right spot because... <laughs> well, when they put up 10 runs in, a, in an inning, Skyler, your scorecard becomes a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Coming over here, Paulo. We're looking at a 3 0 count on White. Nice inside corner there from Zolman. All below. Or ball four, that will put White on first. Second walk for Skyly this game. I'll bring Mia Suzuki to the plate. First pitch will be swung on and fouled off right back at us. Parkway dugout, much more into this game. <laughs> And they were maybe the ten nothing. Yeah, little. just a little bit. <laughs> nice changer from Zoma just didn't quite. I don't think it just quite. I don't think it quite made it there. No. Nope. Just need a little bit more oomph behind it, and the positioning of it. I mean, looked good where it was at, but nice, nice pitch there from Zoma. Looking at a one-two count. No outs, the runner on first. It's coming in from Zolman. A little high. Looking at a 2 2 count on Suzuki. Just Ooh, that had to be. I had to be close. <laughs> Just miss low. I don't know if I would have risked that one. <laughs> We're looking at a full count. Oh. Should be swung on and missed. Or out number one. We'll be back at the top of the lineup. We'll be Britt Burns up to the plate. First pitch coming, be a ball low. Oh, call it time for, well, I guess it's because batters stepped out of the box. It's coming in, will be bunted and she will be out at second. Nice, nice play by Skyly. Nice call there. Coming in, and she knew exactly what she would do once she got the ball. Well, Bell Fountain's still batting, Kaylee, and they have 12 runs in the sixth. <laughs> they now lead the boys 15 to 8. The Madison Laos up to the plate for the Panthers. Is that oh, another change? I don't know what was wrong with that one. <laughs> just, uh, just missed, I guess. Now two outs on the Panthers. A ball will be hit out. Oh, nope. That kid's still out there. <laughs> <laughs> Give him credit. He's got a sweatshirt on now, but he's he's still going. He had a lot of action in the first two winnings yeah. in the first game. <laughs> he's at least trying to jump the puddles now. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Southside pitch will be swung on and missed. We're looking at a one-two count. Two outs on the Panthers. Runner on first. Ball will be hit out to Myers. She will get under it and make the catch for out number three. We'll bring, no, looks like no, no runs for Lady Panthers. One runner on base, and we'll be back with Lady Rams to the plate. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419-576-8940. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. We are back at the bottom of the third inning with Lady Rams taken to the plate. We will have Kaylee Lucas up to the plate. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Lucas will hit that right little pop up to first base. She will make the catch for out number one. He'll bring us back to the top of the lineup with Myers stepping up to the plate. First pitch coming into Myers. She will square to bunt. I think it'll just kind of get underneath her a little bit there. Second pitch will be swung on and miss. Christina was our player of the game in game one. Had a heck of a first game. Pitch will be swung on and miss for out number one. Coach Fairchild said he wasn't ordering pizza because the team plays like garbage in game two on pizza. So maybe he should have ordered pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, not doing the hottest up at the plate right now. There goes there goes that theory. Coming <laughs> yeah. in will be a ball low. Norton stepping up to oh no nope Smith I'm getting ahead of myself. Smith up to the plate for the Lady Rams two outs nobody on base. Swing on that outside pitch will miss for strike one. Just coming in will get ball low. Well. Wind still blowing out to right field here. Going to two one count on Smith. Ball will be foul off. Coming in will be swung on and missed for out number three. No runs scored for the Lady Rams. No runners on base. We'll be back with the Panthers to take to the plate. The law office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian 
Tim Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. It's not who I am. Trying to say, I had that Hinkle should be up, but we have a pinch hitter. Okay, looks like we have Paige Stevenson up to the plate for the Panthers. First pitch would have was fouled off. Second pitch coming out will be swung on and missed. And an 0 2 count on Stevenson. Just a little bit of a wild outside pitch there. Ball one. Looking at a 2 2 count on Stevenson. Uh, will be swung on and missed for strikeout number one. We'll bring Andre Miller to the plate for the Lady Panthers. One out, no runners on base. <clears throat> First pitch in from Zoma will be a ball low. As good as everything went in the first game for Tenora, hitting and fielding and pitching, it's going the complete opposite here in game two. Second pitch will be swung on and missed for strike one. Oh, it looks like our wind died down a little bit. A little bit. It'll come back. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> pitch coming in, nice strike there. Got right a one two count. Will be swung on and missed for strike out number two of the inning. That will bring Emery Temple to the plate for the Panthers. First pitch will be swung on and missed. Like pinched myself or something <laughs> on the chair. I don't know. Like <laughs> nice outside corner strike there. I usually just get cramps in my calves and and thighs when I set like, for a bit. <laughs> the cord sitting there in the chair. I don't know what I did. And an O2 count. Third pitch will be swung on and missed for strikeout number three to end the inning. No runners on base, no runners scored. Nice three up, three down for the Lady Rams. We'll be back with Lady Rams taken to the plate. The law office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. We're back with the Lady Rams taken to the plate. And uh, I don't know about you, Keith, but I think we could uh, use some runs here. Uh, Lady Rams uh, need at least one in the next two at-bats to prolong the game. And well, Skyly is in the zone, so... Assuming that Parkview is not going to score anymore. Got Norton up to the plate for Lady Rams. First pitch coming in will be a ball high inside. Actually, I did it. Pitch 
Pitch two coming in will be on ball high. I don't know if the Lady Rams ever have a hit this game. Uh, yeah, Skyly. That's right. Yes, that's it. So two, two oh, hits. Oh yeah, Tegan. Yeah, Tegan had one, and then Skyly came in the second inning, and then let's see. Hope, hope she can get another one. I, mean, I said she got ball four, so I mean she, she's making it out to first either way. Well, to start, we have a runner. Well, that's all we need. Tegan down there. Maybe that'll get the girls pumped up. To the plate will be Paige Gamby. Heart of the Rams order right here. If they're going to score, they're going to do it right this inning. That's a nice pitch coming down there to Gamby. First pitch will be a strike. Well, hi. I'm going to have a 1 1 count on Gamby. No outs for the Lady Rams. Norton on first. It's coming in. It'll be a ball high, kind of. Yeah, that was just leaned out of the way. She's a little, little nervous about that one. It's coming in. It'll be a ball high. I got a 3 1 count on Gamby. Ball will be hit to shortstop. She'll scoop it up, make the out at second. Gamby will be safe on first. I'll bring Zolman to the plate for the Lady Rams. First oh, pitch, Zolman will, I mean, nice line drive down to second, I mean, down to shortstop. We'll kind of scoop it, make the blow at second for the out, and then throw it to first for the second out, or for the third out. I don't think Skyly could have hit any harder. No, that was, an, <laughs> that was hard hit. I mean, no run score, no runners left on base. We'll be back with the Panthers taking to the plate. Hey, you. Are you looking for the best burger around? For the last two years, Firestone Tavern has brought home the award for best burger in the region. Firestone Tavern is also the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so, so much more. Chef Aaron and his fantastic staff are here to serve nothing but the best to their customers. Be sure to stop out after the game for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV that you can ask for. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, Hours of operation are Monday through Saturday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And from Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Looking to place an order? Give them a call at 419-785-4015 or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the very best to the Tenora Rams. And the third. I don't... I would check Game Changer, but they're not live. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I I don't stop. ever do anything. I mean, I have three outs <laughs> other places. I don't know what I did or where she went. But... All I know is I need to stop playing food commercials because my <laughs> belly keeps growling. <laughs> <laughs> Up to the plate for the Panthers is Callie Bullenbacher. First pitch coming in will be a strike. I would say if anybody wants to deliver a pizza up here to the press box, I'm go ahead and not gonna complain. order it to Dahmersville Road here at Sonora High School. But by the time to deliver it, the game will be over. <laughs> Bullenbacher will pop that up to first baseman Zoe Billings for the catch for out number one. Oh, I did that in the wrong spot, too. <laughs> I have to the plate for the Panthers is Aubrey Nichols. First pitch in for Zolman will be swung on and missed. Hey, that's it. <laughs> Ball will be hit to Norton. She will scoop that up and make the third first for out number two. Nicole's trying to prolong the game by yeah. turning off the scoreboard out there. So <laughs> I just went black and then it just randomly started coming back, like the scores, and then everything she's like, else just randomly. She's like, I want that pizza too. We're gonna have a little delay here. <laughs> Up 
to the plate, we should have Avery White for the Panthers. Two outs, no runners on base. First pitch coming in from Zolman will be a ball low. Kylie's pitched fantastic today. Just one run in the first game. She came out in relief here and has shut down Parkway in her going on three innings of pitch here in game two as well. So nine innings and just one run for Skyly. Nice pitch there from Zolman. Got a 1-1 one, one count. And the run in game one, I believe, will probably wind up being unearned, depending on how they score it. But I have it unearned. But my scoring doesn't count. Coming out, be swung on and missed for strike two. Looking at a one two count. Some zone will be up to all low. And a two two count. will be popped up, I think, back behind us. There's little ball boys over there shooting baskets now. <laughs> well, I thought it was, I thought we had Avery White to the plate, but we don't. That oh, is... Ball will be popped up. That was the popped up to right field and we'll make the catch. Oh, it's That's, Shane Levin. Yeah, they made a switch there somewhere. I, have to, I don't know where. <laughs> but I I will have uh, out number three there. We'll be back with the Lady Rams taking to the plate. No runs, no runners on base. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. All right, we're back with Lady Rams up to the plate. First up to the plate will be Madison Spangler. First pitch was swung on and missed. Madison will pop that up out to right field. And, it, oh, it almost went over the fence, kind of bobbled off of it, and she will make it to second base. <laughs> Madison has a lot of speed going around the bases. Just missed a home run. We'll bring Zoe Billing to the plate for the Lady Rams. No outs. Spangler on second. The Lady Rams need at least one run to prolong the contest here. Yep. Nice hit from Zoe there. It looks like it's going to go foul. And she will catch it. Spangler will tag up and be safe on third. For, for a freshman, Madison is just a heads-up ball player. and it, it's Something you really can't teach. Up to the plate, we have Trinity Corber. This pitch will be swung on and missed. Second pitch will be a strike. And an 0-2 count. Strike three. Will be swung on and missed for out number two. We'll bring Haley Lucas to the plate for the Lady Rams. Last chance for Tenora here. Lucas will pop that up out to right field. It will be gone. That will be a 
home run for Kaylee Lucas. We're going to break out the horn cup. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring in Madison Spangler for a run and Kaylee Lucas. I believe that will be her first home run. Yes, of the it is. My stop is a field homer by Kaylee. It's so hard to tell up here, especially on that right field, if it's going to go over or not. Yep. I don't know the right the right fielder. I think was a little confused. She was like leaning up against the fence. <laughs> yeah, ball kept going and going and going. Rams have a new wife. If they can take advantage of it. Yeah, we'll be back up to the top of the lineup with Christina Myers. She will hit that to third. Third baseman will bobble it, and Myers will be safe. Put Myers down on first and bring up Tanae Smith to the plate for the Lady Rams. Tanae with the homer in the first game. And they had three runs about in, I believe, in the first game. First pitch coming in will be a ball high. Two will be swung on and missed. We're ready now today. Ball will be swung on and missed for strike two. We're going to have a one two count. Come on, Tater. Lady Rams have two outs, and Christina Meyer standing on first. Pitch coming into Norton will be swung on and missed for out number three. We looks like we had two score for Lady Rams going into the top of the six. Ten Panthers, Lady Rams two. We'll be back with the Panthers taking to the plate. Van Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Van Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Matt and Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Thank you. We're back with well, the Panthers taken to the plate. We'll be, let's see where we're at, see if they change any more players on here. <laughs> uh, looks like we are... Shout out to our normal PA guy up here, Mr. Gene Sugg, unable to make it today. So Gene always tunes in when he can. So I appreciate Gene for watching us here today. I'm like all off of my stats here. Like I had Suzuki should have been out to play, and now we're back at the top. Of the I, think I don't know what made, they're doing. They've made a lot of changes. Oh, she's the fly. Oh, okay. That's why. I'll be fouled off right back behind us. They had me all kinds of messed up. <laughs> like, I don't even know where and who's who right now. I got a one two count on Burn. Or Burn yeah, Burns. A change up coming in for Skyler with a ball outside. <laughs> She was one out away from loading the buses up back to Parkway last inning. And that two-run homer by Lady Rams kept the game alive. It's coming in. We'll be hit back to Skyly. She'll scoop it up and make out number one. I'm not saying who's up until I look at their numbers and I double-check my paper <laughs> because I'm, like, all over so we have Madison Louse up to the plate for the Lady Panthers. Yeah, yeah. Skyly's waiting for a call or she's not liking what they're calling. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in. We'll be fouled down left field side. I'll kind of remind, remind you of Anna Frazier. From last season's Snore Rams. Yeah, she's had some good hits. I mean, 
I mean, she's hit every time she's been up to bat. So, I mean, I mean, she's got out, I mean, twice, but I mean, she's just hitting it. And I'm playing for the University of Toledo Rockets softball team. Strike two coming in on Louth. Looking, like looking at an 0-2 count. She's coming in for Zolma and be a ball outside. Another 1-2 count. One out on the Lady Panthers. Nobody on base. Coming in will be popped back to Zolman. She'll scoop it up and make out number two. We'll bring to the plate Megan Hinkle. Two outs on the Lady Panthers. No runners on base. Zolman will wind up. First pitch coming in will be hit to Gamby. And scoop and made play out at first. Kylie's making it look so easy. <laughs> nice three up, three down uh, for Lady Rams. We'll be back. Lady Rams taken to the plate. Signs Excavating of Defiance offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Trucking Service can also assist in any of your equipment hauling needs. They're located at 2147 State Route 66. Signs Excavating, family owned and operated since 1999. For any excavating needs, give Josh a call at 419-769-2290. And for your trucking needs, bring up Matt, 419 419- 481-3738. Be sure to visit them online at signsexcavating.com or Signs Excavating on Facebook. Signs Excavating wishes all the best to the Tenora Rams athletes. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on tenorarams.com. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. We're back with Lady Rams take to the plate. We will start off our bats with Norden stepping into the batter's box. I mean, she's had a good, I mean, good at bat. I mean, for both games, I mean, she's been hitting, making contact. I mean, even if she's not getting on, I mean, she's still having decent hits. Yes, very productive senior season thus far for Tegan. I'll be hit to shortstop. We'll scoop it up and make the throw to first for out number one. I mean, they're shortstops. I mean, doing a good job. I mean, just like ours <laughs> yeah, is right there. Yes. Like, yeah, the first game runs out there, scooped up everything in sight. And Temple here in game two. And Gamby up to the plate for the Lady Rams. First pitch coming in will be a ball low. Oh, catcher's. Bobbling at the <laughs> she dropped it and then she couldn't figure out where it went. <laughs> and a 1 0 count on Gamby, one out, no runners on base. Nice Just line missed. drive down third base line there. It'll be foul. Just missed going over the third base bag. Coming in will be a ball low. And then a 2 1 count on Gamby. <laughs> Looks like the pitcher's not really liking the count that she got. <laughs> well, they popped up, fouled off. Yeah, she's like, I don't like those pitches. Give me another. <laughs> I thought she was getting ready to actually go. And then she was like, nope. <laughs> like, she, the more she thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> Marsh realized she did not want to throw it. And a 2 2 count on Gamby, one out. A ball high will be swung on and missed for out number two. Nice placement, high inside fastball there. Kind of tied Paige up. Now bring Zolman stepping into the batter's box for Lady Rams. Looks like she's hit both times up to bat in this game. She did a good hitting game last. I mean, last game too. 
First pitch coming in will be a ball high. Second pitch coming into Zolman will be Ooh. and up and that <laughs> might has gone. The center fielder's not even trying. <laughs> That'll be another home run for Zolman. And like I said, that center fielder just stood there. She didn't get the even... uh, tape measure out and go measure that one. That was a rocket. Sky now with five homers on the season with I think twelve RBIs. I did. Was <laughs> uh. It's pretty far out there. <laughs> it's probably closer to the solar panels than it was the outfield fence. Yeah. He like said that center fielder, I don't think she moved. She just stood there and she's like, nope. <laughs> like, no, not even going to attempt. It'll bring Madison Spangler up to the plate for the Lady Rams. <laughs> Ooh, first pitch coming in. Well, Ooh. she'll get hit in the head. <laughs> oh, I like ricocheted off her helmet. It sounded worse than what it was. It'll be the third. I think the third person today hit by a pitch. So Skyline, uh, Corber, and then now Spangler. That'll bring Zoe Billings up to the plate for the Lady Rams. Two outs. One runner on base. Zoe will pop that up to right field. Right fielder's grabbing. That will be over the fence as well for home run number two of the game. Rams trail just 10 to 5 now. And now goes the coach. Trey Stover. I'm going to go have a visit. Was 10 to nothing. And the Lady Rams were basically down to their last out last inning. And they have tallied five runs to stay alive here, still batting. And they still have one more bat left in the seventh. Are they going to keep her? Are they going to switch her? I would assume he's just trying to talk to her, talk her through it, and... Eddie is going to make a switch. He probably would have done it right away, but yeah, trying no, to build, build some confidence and keep her in there. Still have a five run lead with nobody on and two outs here. So, yeah, I mean, my th view coming from a pitcher, I mean, I can understand how it gets frustrating, but I mean, there's not really anything. It's not like she's doing anything wrong. Right. I mean, she's throwing them in there. They're just making good contact with it. Bring to the plate for Lady Rams. Corber stepping up. She will hit the ball back to the pitcher and that will scoop up and make out number three on the Lady Rams. Going into the top of the seventh inning, we will have the Lady Rams five, Panthers ten. No runners on base. We'll be back with the Panthers taken to the plate. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance, which is all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. A special thank you to the families of the Schlegel family, Schlegel Family Farms, Chris, Becky Kennedy, Ian, and Lucas. And to Laura Kepi, a lifelong Tenora Rams supporter. Another big thanks to Vince Salidas and Michelle Bacon and their family for supporting the Tenora Rams and all of us here at Tenora Rams Live. All right, we are back with the Lady Panthers taking to the plate, and we have Paige Stevenson stepping up. Ooh, they are going to check swing, and they said she didn't go. Boy, I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ball out low outside. And a 2 0 count. Who called that one a strike? That was a little. I thought it was a ball, but <laughs> I mean, if he's going to call it strike, I'll take it. 
Shiley entering her sixth inning of work in game two. And has not allowed a run yet in this game. Ball will be popped up out to right field. Here it will make this catch. For out number one. Coming up to the plate for the Lady Panthers will be Audrey Miller. First pitch in from Zolman will be a nice strike. Oh. An 0 1 count. Pitch number two, and right on that outside corner from Zolman will be a strike two. O2 count come in. She will swing on that one. She kind of went looking for it. It will be out number two. She kind of knew it after she swung, yeah. too. She was like, oh, God. <laughs> we'll bring Emery Temple to the plate. Ooh, ball kind of coming inside there. She swung, will be fouled off back at us. Oh, Billings will just quite miss it. Oh. Corber will scoop that up and run to first for out number three. <laughs> nice play nice by Trinity. Play. Absolutely. Nice heads up play by Trinity. Three up, three down on the Lady Rams there. We will be back with the Lady Rams taken to the plate. Looking for a venue to host your party? Kyle Nicely of Nicely Rentals and Storage is here to help solve your problem. Located between Defiance and Ayersville, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers a party venue for graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, or any event that meets your needs in the spring, summer, and fall months. In the winter months, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers storage for vehicles, campers, boats, or anything that needs to be stored and protected. Do you need tables and chairs for your party? Kyle can help with that as well. Nicely Rentals and Storage can also help with your move as they now have U-Haul available. Give Kyle a call at Nicely Rentals and Storage, 419-439-6177 for booking information. We're back with the Lady Rams taken to the plate. We will have Kaylee Lucas up to bat for the Lady Rams. Final chance for the Lady Rams. First pitch will be swung on and missed by Lucas. Need at least five here to tie it up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's not helping. <laughs> We're going to O2 count on Lucas. Come in, will be swung on and missed. Empire has a reservation of at four for Sam's Restaurante. <laughs> <laughs> Being facetious about that, of course. <laughs> Up to the plate, we have Christina Myers, top of the batting order. First pitch swung on and missed. Ball will be hit and hit foul. Christina, a very nice day overall in game one. And sorry, actually, they're a player of the game in the first game. It's a productive day. Ball will be swung on and missed for strikeout number two. We'll bring Tanae Smith up to the plate for the Lady Rams. Last chance here for Tenora. Ball will be fouled off. Right back at us. <laughs> you hear the people down yeah, there like, Jesus. That's what, you can always tell the ones that are sitting like right yeah, on the right wall down by there. <laughs> 
you're not fully paying attention. You just kind of <laughs> catch it. She must have looked up all of a sudden, saw a ball come to her head. <laughs> Line drive, foul ball down the right field side. It was down there, last strike here. Terrell 10 to 5. Took the first game 11 to 1. Just a destructive second inning where they allowed 10 runs here. 0 2 count on Smith. It's coming in, will be a ball low. Got two outs on the Lady Rams, no runners on base. It's coming in. Oh. Ball high. Oh boy. Ball high. Like everybody uh, was like, oh. I think the umpire just blinked and it completely missed that one. She'll be swung on and missed for out number three. And that will be game. Lady Rams five. Parkway Panthers ten. We will uh, we'll be back with our Bidlack post game. I will do it right after this. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. We are back with our Bidlack Insurance post-game summary. We, uh... Lady Rams fell five to ten going into their second game here. Um, kind of got off to a rough. I don't want to say kind of. We got off yeah, to a rough start. Very um, rough start. <laughs> not kind of. There's two. no kind of about it. Um, I mean, we. I mean, it's not that we weren't fielding good. I mean, we were making good plays on the field. It's just at bat, we we didn't come out strong. I mean, at first up to bat, I mean, we first three out. I mean, we between the strikeouts and then just. I mean, we were hitting it, but they were either getting caught or getting out at first. I don't think we made we didn't make a score until the fifth inning. Yep. Um, and that's I mean that's kind of crucial. Like we got to be able to you got to score before that, especially with the Panthers coming out and second inning. They I mean we circled around the batting order with them. Yep. yep. Um, Billings kind of I mean she I mean she went out there I mean as a freshman and going into the second game not really pitching much the first mm -hmm. game just warming up. I mean she's not she was doing anything wrong. I mean she just yep. I mean they were hitting her. I mean and you got to. Just a learning yeah. experience for Zoe. Uh, she had the high last week in game two in versus Wasion and kind of a welcome to reality moment here in game two. But again, she's just a freshman and she will learn from it. Yeah, you, I mean, and you're going to have it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's I'm sure happened Skyly, to Skyly. I'm sure Skyly times. went through the first thing or the same thing when she was a freshman yeah. herself. So I mean, going into that second inning, I mean, they made that switch back to putting Skyly in there and we started to see the strikeouts and them not really. I mean, literally after that, after that inning, they didn't score any after that. Um, I think Skyly had about one, two, six, I mean, six strikeouts coming out of that. And she kind of fifth inning with, I mean, we had Skyly hit a home run, had a home run. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, Rams did not give up trailing 10, nothing and got it to 10 to five. And Skyly pitched great. Got the win in game one, 11, one and came back and. Came in in the second inning with nobody out and shut down Parkway. So, overall, a fantastic day for Skyleaf. Rams split a doubleheader, win one, lose one. Uh, overall, a, a good day. And uh, game two, a learning experience more, more than anything. It's you fall behind 10 nothing early and you claw back and got to send 10 5. And fantastic. So give Parkway all the credit in game two. I mean, they came out. Bruns had a heck of a outing. Got in a little bit of trouble late, only because I think she was getting tired. Yeah. But outside of that, uh, she pitched fantastic here in Game Two for Parkway. Yeah. I mean, that's 
That's all I got from for that. Our next game will well, our next game, but the Lady Rams next game will be Tuesday. That's at Hilltop. Another, I think they have a game Monday. At, or Monday, Monday's Monday at Hilltop. Hilltop. Tuesday, Tuesday is home. yeah. See, our next game will be Tuesday here versus Edgerton. Well, Kaylee's next game I'll be next door, but Kaylee will be here Tuesday. Yep, I should be here. And no game Wednesday. And Lady yeah. Rams are full. I think the rest of the week Thursday, yeah. Friday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursday they'll be at Hicksville. Yep. Uh, Friday they'll be at Evergreen, and then Saturday they got a double hitter at Coldwater. The next Saturday is the reverse raffle, so if you need a ticket, very few tickets are left. Make sure you get a hold of a booster, a booster member, a player, or shoot me a message here. I got just two left. I think Sean has a couple left as well, so you can you get a hold he's of got Sean. Like two or four left. Yeah. Yes. So uh, should be a fun night next Saturday. So if you need a ticket, get a hold of. Uh, a booster, a booster member, or a coach, or a player, or somebody, we, we, we can get you a ticket, so just give us a holler, but thank you, Kaylee, for another excellent job here, and thank you. hopefully everybody out there can enjoy what's left of the Saturday, and fantastic day to do yard work, and unfortunately, it rained about two don't, inches on Friday. Yeah, don't get blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good weekend. We'll see everybody Tuesday back here versus Edgerton. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action. And follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.